Okay, folks, what we're going to demonstrate here is we're taking a ride. Uh, we've got the belt off this supercharger, so we're only using the boost gauge as a vacuum gauge. This is the reason why you need a alternate or a secondary evacuation suction source. Now, if I step on the gas, we're light throttle right now. You can see we're at zero. There's zero vacuum because of the uh, valve overlap creating reversion pulses. I let off on the gas. We're decelerating 24 to 26 inches. If I'm at a light cruise, right there, we're six, eight inches. Four inches dropping to zero. If I accelerate at all, I'm just barely at eighth throttle. We have zero intake manifold vacuum, so your crankcase is not evacuating anytime <coughs> you're accelerating, especially at wide open throttle. And again, the cause of this is the overlap between the intake and the exhaust cam lobes. The exhaust valve has not closed completely before the intake valve is opening, which all modern camshafts have a certain amount of overlap. That overlap allows reversion spikes, pulses, to travel back up the runners and cancel out any usable vacuum. Even though you've got an immense, see, if, see I'm just lightly accelerating here, and we're zero, maximum four to six. Now I let off, and we're at a light cruise. Still, we're zero at a light cruise here. If I let off totally, we're up to our maximum 22, 24, 26 inches of vacuum. Deceleration, like right now, is when the most crankcase evacuation is taking place to remove the contaminants that are constantly entering as blow-by combustion byproducts. You've got water, raw fuel, sulfuric acid and the abrasive soot, carbon, and ash particles. This is the time that they are settling and mixing in and I'm going, just got to 50 miles an hour. I let off to decelerate, we go to full vacuum. But if I set the cruise control right now, you're going to see at a 50 mile an hour cruise, we do have enough vacuum to sufficiently evacuate these contaminants. Otherwise, during the periods that there's any acceleration, now I'm going to lightly accelerate, we drop to zero. During these periods is when those contaminants have a chance to settle and mix with your engine oil, contaminating it, reducing its ability to protect your internal engine parts. That is why all of these catch cans out there that are not using dual check valves and two separate evacuation sources, again, barely touching the gas, and four to six max, dropping to zero. As soon as we shift to high gear here, we're at zero, and we're just creeping along right now, barely 45 miles an hour. It is only when I let off on that gas, or we're at an idle, or a very light cruise, that you actually have evacuation where you're removing these contaminants from your crankcase. When you vent with a breather, use a can with a breather, use hoses off your valve covers, you're defeating all of this evacuation. With the exception on a breather can, you still get evacuation at idle, light cruise, and deceleration. If we, now if I floor it, of course it goes instantly to zero. But most people aren't running around wide open throttle all the time. This is just normal driving. Very, very light acceleration, zero to four. And this is why, especially with a direct injection engine where you have many times the amount of raw fuel that is getting pushed past the piston rings because of the intense cylinder pressures, that uh, 
direct injection and in injector is introducing that fuel at two to three thousand psi when you're under acceleration depending on uh, what system it is again now very very light acceleration If we were on highway speeds with the cruise control on, we'd rarely see more than two to four, if that. You can see I've been very light acceleration. Took all this time to get up from turning that corner, but now I let off, we go to full evacuation suction again. This is the purpose you need a dual valve system using two separate evacuation suction sources. Uh, Elite E2 with the dual valve, the Elite 2X, E2X, and E2X Ultra, the Genuine RX dual valve, the Tracy Lewis Performance Signature Series, the Colorado Speed, all of those utilize this technology to keep the contaminants out of your engine, your oil clean longer, protecting longer, and uh, also we're aiding in your piston ring seal. The piston rings today on all engines are a low tension piston ring. They re rely on suction below the ring and pressure above to maintain stability. And as you can see, even in a light acceleration, we have no evacuation taking place. And your piston ring then becomes unstable, it flutters and increases the amount of blow by you have and over time accelerates wear. Hope this is helpful and we'll continue more of these uh, videos as we're able. Thank you.